Santa Barbara, California is definitely my most favorite place to visit in all of Southern California. To me, it's an iconic location reflective of Southern California living. And so of course, a beautiful place to gather some aerial footage. If you're planning to visit Southern California, I highly recommend stopping here. So this is a special video for me because I've always wanted to shoot a cruise ship and so every once in a while a ship pays visit here. You'll see my whole journey along with detailed flight instrumentation including my control stick inputs, loss of signal and how I recover, some nice cruise ship images, and use of active track of some tender boats going to and from the cruise ship. And at the end you'll see my fully edited video. Hope you enjoy. So here I am sitting on this large concrete block perfect for a launch site. Out in the distance is a cruise ship called the Emerald Princess which is anchored about 7,000 feet from shore. I'm flying the Mavic 2 Pro recording in 4K D-Log at 30 frames per second at 1 60th of a second shutter speed using NDA polarized filter set at f5.6 allowing me to close down or open up the aperture to adjust exposure if needed. Detailed flight stats are shown on the screen. Here we go. So before I head out to the cruise ship, I've got to do a flyby of Stern's Wharf. Stern's Wharf was built in 1872, making it the oldest working wooden wharf in California. It's 2,300 feet long, has an area of 3.8 acres, supported by 2,307 pilings. One of the cool things about this wharf is you could actually drive your car on it, park almost to the end, there's even valet parking if you want to enjoy some of the restaurants on it. There's also a marine museum, a candy store, and a couple other stores there as well. So a really cool place to stop and enjoy. And it's of course a beautiful spot to just relax and enjoy the scenery. So getting the cruise ship back in view, I'm about 1,800 feet from the home point. The cruise ship is 7,800 feet, so I've got about 5,800 feet or roughly about a mile before I actually get to the cruise ship. So I'm traveling about 31 miles per hour. I'm going to go ahead and switch it into sport mode. Picking up speed, now I'm flying about 44 miles per hour, 45 miles per hour. Alright, getting pretty close there. I'm about 2,000 feet away from the cruise ship. There's a tender boat right at the bottom there that I'll do an active track on a little bit later. And now I'm going to switch out of sport mode and switch into cinematic mode.
And here's a few quick stats about this cruise ship called the Emerald Princess. It has a length of 951 feet, height of 195 feet, tonnage 113,561, 19 decks, 1,539 guest cabins. The inaugural cruise was in 2007, has over 1,200 crew and 3,080 guests. All right, and I am back, and I just wanted to point out that there's a person swimming in the swimming pool in the back there, which is kind of cool to see. So now I'm coming up to the point where I have a loss of signal. There is pointing where I'm located and you can see the live view feed is breaking up. I'm going to go ahead and increase my altitude so I can raise above the cruise ship and reestablish connection. And so now we have reconnected. Now I'm going to take some still photos.
I'm there. Where are you? I'm over where the ship is. You're not going to be able to see it. Hello again, so now I'm going to switch back to video recording and head back toward shore. Going 28 miles per hour, switching out of cinematic mode so I could go a little bit faster and catch up one of the tender boats and do a little bit of active tracking. Okay, so I think I'm close enough so I could switch into after track and track that boat.
highlighting the boat. Got it. Tracking it. Lost tracking just as soon as I increase the rotational speed. I'm going to fly up closer so I don't lose active track. One of the nice new features about Active Track 2.0 is that it does automatically identify subjects that it can track. So you can see the green circle on this boat. and once you touch on it, it locks onto the subject. Okay, so I'm going to exit out of active track and head on home. And just doing a quick spin here so you could get a nice good look of the wharf. Okay, almost home. There I am. Will be nice to get the drone back in my hands.